right guys so the leaks just keep on coming in left and right it's pretty even insane that these are getting leaked uh you know nine days before the legends festival itself because it kind of gives it away but it's pretty massive man it really is i mean honestly this one came in while i was asleep so i didn't record right away but i do keep you guys updated here everything dragon ball legends 24 7 on my channel so you know, if you do find value in today's video, you know, like the content and everything like that, and you guys want to support me, make sure you guys simply like and subscribe because why not? It's free and I'd also greatly appreciate it. So let's not waste any time, man. It's uh, very massive stuff. You know, first things first is you guys probably saw this image floating around, which is an hourglass, um, you know, a full one and an empty one. Now, this is confirmed by data miners and quickly shout out to Gruz Dog for sending me this. Uh, you know, huge, you know, thanks to him and Pro Digital for always, you know, supplying these assets to me. Now, uh, it says here unique uh, gauge icon at the last time. So it, it's pretty much, you know, if you have if, if you have to think logically what this means, right? It's a timer, right? That's the most logical thing you can think of. But we've never seen a unique gauge. It's, it's like a brand new system, right? Technically it is and technically it isn't because if you guys remember, we have two units that, you know, technically do have a timer on them in specific, which is the old school yellow Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Ken Goku, which frankly, to be honest, um, I did not like because of the timer itself, which if, if you guys just scroll down here, it says here, uh, transform lasts or transformation lasts for 30 timer counts. Now that in specific is too low, way too low. 30 second timer counts is unacceptable in my opinion. And then we also got another one right after that. I mean, a few months or I think like a year after that, um, where basically we got this gold tank that transforms into Super Saiyan 3 gold tanks. This one lasted for 40 timer counts and it was way better, but it's still too low for my taste. I think the sweet spot would be like 50 timer counts if we are talking about a transforming Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta transformed into Super Saiyan 4 go, you know, uh, to Gogeta, right? So, I mean, honestly, we got this earlier this morning which is massive on its own, which now just confirms that this is a transformation, right? Because you combine it with the hourglass, it makes perfect, perfect sense. And some fusions, you know, uh, it takes a lot of energy and, and you can't last that long as a fusion, right? So this, you know, and this could introduce so much to the game itself, a uh, new mechanic. Now, by the way, I was always predicting, hey, you know, the Legends Festival might have two banners and there's still a very, very good possibility. But as this rolls out and, and we're thinking about a transforming Super Saiyan 4 Goku Vegeta to Gogeta, right? You know, that in itself, if we have one banner with that and then the next banner with something else, like what can possibly compete? Like, why would you summon on anything else besides that banner unless it's another transforming unit alongside with them, right? I don't know. Uh, I have no idea, right? Imagine like a Rosé or is a monster rose fused to fuse some monster or something like that? That'd be pretty epic. Like a fusion. Oh my gosh, dude. And by yeah, dude, I completely forgot. Completely, completely forgot that we're in a, we're in a, we are neglecting fusion. We just got uh you know super Gogeta back right now, and we're completely neglecting fusion. Now, fusion in itself has two pillars. After that, it's pretty much a drop-off, right? The pillar or three, technically, right? So the pillars is obviously super Vegito. Ultra Super Gogeta, and then the third pillar, you can even make an argument for, um, you know, uh, Zenkai, Legends Limited, Super Vegito, the purple one down here. Now, after that, it's literally a drop off. Even Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, you could use him, you really can, but do you want to? I mean, honestly, and, oh man, now that I'm thinking about it, if, um, <laughs> it, it's tough, man, it really is tough because I was thinking about the colors earlier on in uh, yesterday or this morning's video. I said there's a good possibility GT does need a blue, so Super Saiyan 4s probably would be blue, but if we just take a look at fusions, they got Super Gogeta, so it wouldn't make sense for fusions, it would make sense for GT, so now that I'm thinking about it, right, it could possibly even be either, I don't know man, purple or red, I'd say, because here we we do not have a purple, nor do we have a solid red, I, I, would, I would lean more towards purple today, um, after seeing that this image um, these images could perhaps entail a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, which is a fusion, right? So I, I would personally just lean towards purple as of today, as of what? Uh, November 16th, uh, 2022. Now, is it going to be a single banner? I don't know, man. Possibly. Who knows? Um, if it is, it's still going to be fire. But I'll tell you what, man. I'll tell you what. This hourglass could mean something else in itself. Um, if, you, if, if I'm thinking about two other units, right? It could be a hit, right? Where he... Uh, you know, pretty much just stops time. It could be that, 
or another hourglass and i'm just tossing this up out of my head would be where super boo you know flips the hourglass and then uh from the anime but that really wouldn't make any sense but those are options right uh, a transforming um you know timer that's number one um a potential new hit which is i think well overdue and he definitely needs more love in the game for sure that's option number three and super boo would be the next one and they've been buffing region right sort of like a mickey mouse buff region that's another possibility in itself as well and i'm not ruling anything out honestly but this is confirmed to be a unique gauge and it's nothing like any other unique gauge we've seen right it could have just been a normal timer uh similar to this uh you know go tanks that we have right for 40 timer counts where the timer just uh, counts down it could have just been that or or hear me out it could be a timer where you could transform after that and then after this timer you draw this card that is a very good possibility i think that's a very very i don't i don't know i don't know why i didn't think about that but that could be a very good possibility as soon as the timer runs out it could possibly be hey you can draw this card and then boom yes that's what it is that's that has to be what it is because if it was just a normal timer Dude, that's exactly what it is. Because if it was, I mean, I don't know, but if, if it was just a normal timer, it would have been like a timer count on the top of the screen, right? It has to be that because it would have just been that or, you know, super uh, or uh, gold tanks because it doesn't make any sense to make a unique gauge out of that. The unique gauge unlocks something special, right? So it would unlock this card. Ah, okay. Now everything's making more sense to me. It just makes logically sense, right? Because if it was a timer, it would have just been like Gold Tanks or Super Saiyan Blue Kaka and Goku, right? It just makes time. So once the timer's gone, whatever whatever that might be, right? Or, you know, it, it could be a 30 second timer, you need gauge, who knows, right? And then you unlock this and then he transforms into Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, right? That would be really scary, but then that would cause a little bit of issues comboing in, right? Imagine if you pop this and then go, <laughs> Beast Gohan just pops his green and destroys your hand. That would suck as well um so they definitely got to be careful how they position all this um nonetheless i am excited man comment down below what you guys think about all this uh what do you guys think about this card right here which i showed off earlier or what you guys think about you know these hourglasses it's called glass time i believe is the official name so uh yeah if you guys did enjoy the video and you guys want to keep updated 24 7 everything dragon ball legends make sure you guys simply like and subscribe and all that good stuff because why not it's free you know and i'd always greatly appreciate it and by the way um i i, I did hit a hundred thousand you know uh when beast gohan came out a few weeks ago and i did say i was going to do a giveaway for my ps4 uh, ps5 and as well as xbox series x i will be doing that for december so just to know if anybody comments down below anything just be wary that it's not really me at all saying you want to give away you guys would know it's me i have a check mark or you guys can just click on my, my my page or the page right just don't click on any links and then you guys can see that i have 100,000 subscribers very simple stuff but that's gonna wrap it up i'll definitely catch you guys once again for a video later on have a good one peace